Rap is collaborating with several important bargain institutions and interdisciplinary projects to create a special training programme for a new breed of super technician. We're looking to recruit one person each year to take on this paid programme, which is something between an internship, an apprenticeship and a flexible course that can be tailored to suit the right candidate. So what kind of person are we looking for? Well, firstly, we're looking for someone that wants to work in the varied and challenging world of freelance interdisciplinary art production. RAP has been committed to supporting professional freelance artists in the performing arts, film, music and visual art for 17 years. As a central component in Bergen's art production ecosystem, we have become increasingly aware of a need for technicians with a diverse skill set and a genuine interest in the freelance art scene, which can be challenging as well as rewarding. Traditionally, specialisation has been perceived as a strength, and in institutions that employ several technicians on a full-time basis, this is understandable. However, in our current art production economy, and presumably for the foreseeable future, most art is produced in an artist-led setting or through a series of more or less autonomous residencies on a freelance basis. Technicians have already emerged that complement these new ways of working and enable artists to work with ambitious technical solutions and new formats, but Bergen needs more. This training programme will enable the right candidate not just to have a superficial knowledge of sound, lighting, video and other technologies, it will give them a thorough training in all these fields, based on practice and theory in collaboration with a wide variety of institutions and artistic productions. The programme will be tailored to suit the individual, so that if you already have a lot of experience in one area, you will be able to focus on new territory during your internship. So what exactly do we think this super technician needs to know? Well, we think it depends a bit on what you're really interested in and what motivates you. But here are some key things that we think this program could teach you. Let's start with lighting. We want you to understand both the technical and artistic sides of lighting, as well as best practices when approaching new assignments and communicating with the rest of a production team. On the technical side, you will learn the system architecture that forms the basis of different setups, from large theatres to alternative spaces where mobile equipment is used for individual productions. Different types of lighting and their function, such as traditional Fresnels, profiles, floods, pars, etc., moving lights, fluorescent lights, professional LED lighting fixtures, DIY LED fixtures, strobes and more popular and industry standard lighting control consoles and software slash hardware solutions, specifically Grandma 2 and 3 and Shamsis Magic Q, which is compatible with a wide variety of affordable third-party hardware. Good basic maintenance of troubleshooting procedures. On the artistic side of lighting, you can learn Basic established lighting design theory for theatre and dance with fixed lighting sources. Basic design concepts and techniques using moving heads. Experimental approaches to lighting design, particularly in alternative venues, using video and DIY technology, as well as conventional lighting. When it comes to sound, you will learn all the basics, plus a load of cool shit that otherwise takes years to learn in conventional freelance settings, where the focus is usually on getting things done and solving problems quickly. Again, we also want you to learn best practices for good communication and systematic workflow in a team setting. Here are the main practical subjects. Choosing and configuring the best slash most appropriate sound system and how to get the most out of the sound system using systematic professional calibration techniques where appropriate. This includes stereo formats, but also quadraphonic, surround and experimental speaker configurations. An extensive look at different microphones and microphone techniques. 
popular mixing consoles and the best ways to configure these for various situations. This will include both analogue and digital mixers from leading brands Allen & Heath, Midas, Soundcraft and Digico. Using Lake DSP to configure crossovers and power amplifiers. Sonic frequencies and EQ techniques. Compressors, multiband compression and dynamic EQs. Using measurement microphones and calibration software such as REW to make meaningful measurements and informed decisions about the relationship between the room and the sound system you're using. Various typical system architecture scenarios, everything from simple stuff to complicated internal patch systems in different venues and institutions that you might have to deal with. In many setups, there's a combination of digital and analog connections and equipment, so you'll have to learn how to set up and work with different audio over network protocols such as Dante, AVB and Waves. Best practices and useful techniques for maintenance, troubleshooting and repair of equipment. One thing that's often useful in the performing arts and other interdisciplinary contexts is the ability to control playback of various cues which might contain video, sound, lighting and other effects such as smoke machines or microcontrollers. QLab is the industry standard software to do these things in much of Europe and on this internship you will have the opportunity to study and experiment with this software on your own as well as having tuition and tips from experienced experts. The same goes for the Arduino programming environment that's used for programming microcontrollers such as Arduino and Teensy controllers that can be used for a huge variety of applications in connection with robotics and automation, sensors, lighting, MIDI and more. Other software that you could choose to learn about on this internship would be Mad Mapper, used for mapping video onto three-dimensional objects such as buildings, installations and sonography. VJ software such as Modulate. Final Cut video editing software. Digital Audio Workstation or DAW software for recording and post-production like Logic Pro or Reaper. By the time you're finished with this internship, you should be capable of understanding and coordinating all the technical aspects of a fairly complex multidisciplinary production. What many artistic productions need is a trustworthy technician with a broad range of experience and good communication skills who can help them find the most constructive and useful strategy to suit their technical needs. This is about finding solutions that meet expected standards of professionality within an appropriate budgetary and practical framework. The better you know the independent art scene and the various support structures that are available, the better you'll be able to serve this community. As the place where most independent performing arts and other interdisciplinary projects are produced in Bergen, RAP is a great place to be based during this internship. You will also be given assignments and training at other important institutions so that you learn how different places are set up and function. We want to help grow really great relationships between artists and technicians to enable more open and transparent interactions between them and this will empower people to develop really inventive new ways of working with interdisciplinary art projects on a large scale which we are passionate about at RAP. So at this point I'd just like to talk a little bit about myself and what qualifies me to be putting this internship together and what's the background for this internship basically. Um, I started out uh, as a musician playing in bands and studied music technology in London where I also became interested in lighting at the student union and uh, film loops and projections and backdrops for squatted venues, swimming pools and cinemas that did big events with, uh, you know, like rave parties and other kinds of events. I also did similar stuff for a big super club called Bagley's in London and bands like M People and Primal Scream. And uh, 
then I found out about a job which was actually a kind of internship um, taking over, well initially learning on the job with the previous lighting guy and then taking over his job in a company that worked with theatre, dance and eurythmy, whatever you think about eurythmy. Um, and they were a, a big international touring company that played at um, all kinds of venues from large theatres to quite small schools uh, throughout Europe and all through North America as well. So in Europe we had our own tour bus and, and lighting rig on the bus um, <clears throat> and I learned all about adapting the lighting design to suit different kinds of venues on different scales and also about communicating so that we could you know plan the setup and interpret drawings and and uh, yeah manage the whole production so that we could because we had quite short get in rig times some places um, so it was a very interesting uh, sharp learning curve and good experience you know in North America we didn't take our own lighting rig <coughs> um, but we continued to yeah you know learn learn stuff about setting up in different kinds of venues and relating to different ways of managing a technical crew so after a couple of years working with that company I moved to Bergen and started working a lot at Theater Garage, which had its own venue in Lustigarten at that time. So I worked um, with the technical director there at the time, whose name was Lars Uwe Toft, and he's now the manager at Beck. He was the only full time staff, and then um, other freelancers came in, and I worked there for about 10 years doing all kinds of stuff the the kind of way of working was very much based on people mucking in and doing some being able to do sound and lights and video and sometimes the productions were quite simple but also a lot of really challenging and exciting um, productions came in like the Worcester Group, Radio Hole, Rosas and uh, I also took over the technical management of uh, USF um, under during the festivals Meteor and October Dance that Teati Garage do. So I um, did the technical planning and rigging and managing the technical crew for those festivals down at USF for several years. And I've also worked at Borealis, um, Carte Blanche, Lucian Theatre, various different festivals and for freelance groups, performing arts groups. Um, I've done stage management, mostly lighting and lighting design. I've done some sound design, some VJing and uh, all this really at the same time as, as having my own artistic career and co-founding RAP together with Veronica Torset. So that's probably what I'm most known for now and in, a, in many ways that has become um, the main focus of my work. But my interest has always been in the intersection between art and technology and when we founded RAP it was very much to do with being able to bring all these things together and work in a professional interdisciplinary environment where we had things all kind of gathered under one roof and where people could work on quite an ambitious scale even though it's not in a conventional venue with a big lighting rig and everything. That's of course why we are collaborating with Corner Theatre and Theatre Garage and, and uh, other places like that. Obviously it's important to understand how those bigger theatre settings work and you'll be able to do that on the internship but the focus is kind of this where 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 being creative and working with technology meet um, and whatever your background is actually whatever your kind of angle you're coming at this from whether you you're you, um, 
you've been studying art or you have more of a technical background I think this could be really exciting for you and I hope it will be a really good program that people will get a lot out of so I hope it sounds exciting and whatever background you're from if this is interesting to you please apply so thanks very much for watching